Now, here's where Trump can actually lose a point. Remember when he did that press conference and he said to drink bleach and then inject Lysol into your veins? We all heard it. Watch the tape. Supposing we hit the body with a tremendous, uh, whether it's ultraviolet or just very powerful light. UV light is already used as a germ killer. It's what's behind the cleaning power of this hospital robot. But conventional UV light can penetrate and damage the skin and also cause cataracts. This type of UV light called far UVC can't get past the top layer of the skin. And I think you said that hasn't been checked, but you're going to test it. And then I said, supposing you brought the light inside the body, you can, which you can do either through the skin or uh, in some other way. And the treatment itself involves the application of colored light to the skin with an instrument that resembles a simple pen light. And I think you said you're going to test that too. Sounds interesting. We'll the right, folks who could. right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that by injection inside or almost a cleaning? Do you know what the thyroid is comprised of or should be comprised of? Iodine. It's an iodine sponge. Now, if you have iodine here, every 17 minutes it goes through the filter and the iodine, you know what iodine does, right? It's disinfectant. I call it the chlorine of the swimming pool. It will disinfect your blood every 17 minutes. Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of the lungs, so it would be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. I hope people enjoy the sun, and if it has an impact, that's great. They've looked at patients that have died and their vitamin D levels. And basically, like in the Philippines, you know, people that for like every standard deviation increase in vitamin D levels, serum vitamin D levels, the people are, were eightfold, eight times less likely to have a severe form of COVID-19. And they were 20 times less likely to have critical um, form of COVID-19. Whoa. Um, you know, 70% of the U.S. population has insufficient vitamin D levels. I would like you to speak to the medical doctors to see if there's any way that you can apply light and heat to cure, you know, if you could. And maybe you can, maybe you can't. Again, I say maybe you can, maybe you can't. I'm not a doctor. Mm, I guess he didn't quite say that. Who thought he said bleach? Be this is the same man It's who all told set you, up. maybe you could inject some bleach in your arm and that would take care of it. Chris Cuomo's wife, Christina, who along with her husband and 14-year-old son contracted COVID-19, says she's been taking bleach baths. She says it's part of the Cuomo's Corona protocol. Christina Cuomo says that she adds a half a cup of Clorox to her bath water.